Hey everybody, welcome back to another creative tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the perspective tool for the transform tool options. Go ahead and activate your transform tool either by control T or hitting the icon over here. And make sure you have your tool options open so you can get to the perspective. As a word of warning, or I guess a side note, when you select the transform tool, it's always going to default to the free transform. So don't be alarmed if it doesn't look the same when you go back to change the perspective or whatever it is you're using after you've already applied that change prior. So we're going to go to the tool options and hit the perspective. As you can see, the pivot is gone. I can't use the shear option. I can't rotate it. I can't do what I was able to do with the free transform. So here I can shear and rotate with the perspective, these um, middle icons are gone, or select the points, and as I said before, the rotate and the shear is gone as well. You can still move it around by clicking inside the box, but you can't do anything else. If you do feel the need to scale or shear or whatever it is you want to do, you can still do that here in the tool options, but you can only use the sliders and the options here. And the pivot doesn't do anything because the pivot isn't going to be anywhere in the box. So as you'll see, when you hover over a corner, if you click and drag, you can automatically start changing the perspective on the image with the little icon here. So it looks like this is a flat plane, almost in 3D space, that we're taking and just making it look like this is the farther point and this is the closer point. Obviously with illustration, it may not you know, you're exaggerating it to the point it, it is obviously not possible, but this works out with minor adjustments when you're drawing or, for example, when you're trying to make some cityscapes or landscapes or buildings, things like that. You can quickly change your sketch and change the perspective and it'll get some more out of it without doing too much um, crazy work. It just speeds things up a little bit. Another part of the perspective tool is it has a vanishing point line. Oops, activate that. I'm trying to get it to show here. Is a red dot that will show up. Oh, there it is. It's off canvas for me. So this will basically change your vanishing point. And your vanishing point is, like, let's say this is the horizon, that's where your vanishing point would be. So if your horizon or whatever it is is going to be up here, you can start changing your points here to change the perspective to kind of align better with that vanishing point. And if you don't really want to change this stretch, this perspective change you've done, you can just kind of make that consistent with changing the vanishing point. Now if you put it farther over here, it's going to kind of shorten that perspective or bring it closer and if you bring it cl the finishing point closer to the image it's going to make that finishing point farther away so hopefully that makes sense it's a little hard to see um, but it is a red dot that will show up when you start moving these points around all right but that's it for the perspective tool or the perspective transform hopefully that was informative if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below let me know if this video was helpful or not and if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video the next video will be going over the warp option which is right here which gives you way more control than the perspective so you can kind of do way more just a lot more with that tool Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.